is Rachel with Stella, and today she and I are going to work on come with distance and distractions. So, I have Stella on a super long training leash. It's probably 15 or 20 feet, and it's really great because it gives us the opportunity to practice outside like this and let her feel like um, she's off leash, yet we still have the safety and control of her being on leash. Also, as far as practicing commands, um, Light come is really good. Hi, Stella. Hi, Peter. It's really good to have a long leash like this um, so that you can enforce it. Even though she knows come, um, it's important to practice it even if she uh, gets distracted and to make sure that she will come despite any distractions. So, I'm going to let her wander around and not go out the full length of the leash yet, but... Um, Get a ways away from me so we can practice come. Alright. Well, she's just kind of waiting for me. Let's see if she goes in herself. Okay. I think we'll just do a wait and come since she's uh, being a good girl and paying good attention to me. So, Stella, come here. Sit. Wait. Wait. So this is about half the leash right here. Come, Stella. Good come. Good girl. Good come, Stella. All right, that was good. She was uh, running towards me right away, which is what we like to see. A lot of times dogs are um, a little too leisurely with their come. The longer they take to get to you, the more chance they have of becoming distracted. So we definitely like to practice with a dog coming to you at a run, which is exactly what Stella did, which is great. Um, I'm going, since she is being so attentive towards me, I think she can handle uh, being on the full length of the leash. So I'm going to take her over to the side where there's some um, grass and rocks so that she can start sniffing around there. And then hopefully I'll try to make it back here in view of the camera. Um, in order to call her in, um, see if she will stay distracted long enough. So come on, Stella. Come on, Stella. Come. Come, come, come. Good come. Good girl. Good come, Stella. Yes, good job. All right, again, that was very good. So I was able to get part of the way away from her before she started coming back. And so what I did there is I started running backwards and calling her to come. That's because um, that really excites the dogs and it encourages them to come more quickly um, because they see you're having fun, they don't want to miss out on anything, so it really kind of lights the fire under them, so to speak. Um, and Stella did a great job, so let's just keep working on that. Good girl. Okay, now we are the full length of the leash, which you can see is pretty far. Come, Stella! Come, come, come! Good come! Good come! Good girl! Good girl! So, she responds really well. It's really great to see. Come! It's important um, when you practice your come to be super excited about it and still really praise her even though it's obviously a com uh, command that she knows well. Um, a come can be used really casually just around the house like if you're going to bed, going to feed her dinner, and just want to call her over to the couch so you can pet her, you just say, come on Stella, come here, you know, um, things like that. And so she's very familiar with it, but it is important still to practice it um, and kind of a concentrated and very specific way like we're doing here and expose her to different uh, distractions 
and things like that so that you can be confident that she will come no matter what. So that gives you the freedom to um, have her off leash at the beach or anything like that and know that she will still come to you. Use a high pitched voice and get super excited and a lot of times, um, like I said, running backwards will really excite her. Now she's wandering off again. Come Stella! Good come! Good girl! Good girl! Alright, so she came to me even though there was a, another puppy walking by that looked really fun to play with, so that's great. I'm super proud of her for coming to me there. Um, uh, one last thing, when she comes to you, make sure she comes all the way. Um, I know when Stella's kind of nervous, like with um, some of our employees that she would first meet, they'd lean down to say hi to her, she'd sniff their hand, and as soon as they reach forward to pet her, she would jump back away. So I know she's definitely capable of that. And so, make sure she comes all the way to you so you can get hands on her like this. Because if she were to have slipped out of her collar or something, you want to get her back to you, you um, definitely want to have hands on her and not just, you know, reaching the treat or your hand way out here for her to just touch. Alright, this was Rachel and Stella and we were working on Come With Distance.